Unit 5. Listening. Exercise 3. Hello. Each week in Wildlife Matters, we look at ways in which local people are helping their environment. Today, I've come to Broadland School to talk to head teacher Richard Sandland about his plans to create a wildlife area in the school grounds. Hi, Richard. Hello and welcome. So, what gave you the idea of creating a wildlife area? Well, there was a corner of the school field which wasn't being used for sports or anything else, and as nobody was looking after it, it had become a bit wild. I was looking at it one day when I noticed how many butterflies and other insects were buzzing around the area. It was full of wildlife. I realized that if we did some work to make it even more attractive to wildlife, We could help our local environment while teaching the students about science and nature at the same time. So tell us about what you and the students are planning to do. Well, firstly, we'll be cutting down a lot of this long grass. It's not particularly helpful to wildlife, and we want to encourage wild flowers to grow amongst the shorter grass instead, which will attract more insects. We'll be planting a few trees, which will attract birds, and in the middle, we're going to have a pond. Will the students be doing a lot of the work themselves? Oh yes, they'll be doing most of it. We start this weekend, and we've got a large group who can't wait to throw themselves into the project. It'll have to be done after school or on Saturday mornings, but fortunately, that hasn't put them off. Lots of them are interested in nature conservation, so they see it as an exciting hobby. Have you needed to get expert advice on creating the wildlife area? Yes, I'd had the original idea, but I didn't really know how to put it into action. An expert from the local wildlife society came to talk to the school and helped us to plan what we would do. The students got really excited because they were able to suggest their own ideas and get involved in the planning. Will you be able to use the wildlife area to teach normal school subjects? Yes, indeed. Education these days is excellent, but it's missing something. Children don't learn the vital connection between themselves and the natural world anymore. When I was young, we were always going on nature walks, learning about trees and birds and so on. And although students have lots more choice of subjects these days, they lack that connection. We'll still be teaching them everything they need to learn. But we'll be using the wildlife area as our inspiration and as a useful resource. I can't wait to come back in six months' time and see how it's looking. I hope by then we'll have transformed this area into a beautiful wildlife haven. The students will be able to give you a full report on everything we've attracted to the garden. In the meantime, they'll be writing regular blogs for the school's website, and I'll be keeping a photographic record of every stage. It's very exciting. Best of luck, Richard. Thanks.